Hey guys, welcome to Bootorials. I'm your host Craig, and today we're going to discuss So I've covered this subject in the ski boot sizing video and also in my shell fitting videos. But I still see there's a bit of confusion about how to select the right last, so I want to go a bit more in depth. Let's begin with what is a last. Now, inherited from shoemaking since the beginning of time basically, a last is the internal shape or negative that a cobbler is going to build some footwear around. Now, since ski boots are plastic and cobblers don't make them, there is going to be a bit of difference. So a ski boot last will look a little bit something like this. And it will be machined out of an aluminium aluminum block. Now this is then enclosed by two outer molds and then at high pressure, hot plastic is going to be injection molded in to surround it. And this is what produces the shape of your shell and cup. And once this is produced, this now leaves you with an internal space with a specific shape and size. Now the shape is important because if you get it wrong, it can force your foot into the wrong position even if the boot is the right size for you. Now the information you're given about this last is going to be the forefoot width dimension or last dimension. How wide that boot model is going to be at the widest point in the boot. But this dimension is only going to be based off a 26.5 size and it is going to scale up and down to the other sizes. So how do you pick an appropriate last? Now this is where we start to get some variability. Now you may be thinking 100mm foot, 100mm last. Now if your foot measures 26 in length, that is a good way to start thinking about it. But I really want you to consider it more that you're going to fall into a range and assess your skiing goals. Now you may want a super tight fitting performance or race boot and you're willing to put your foot into a narrower last to get it. Now this can build a tolerance in people's feet where this becomes the normal feeling. And you can find with people like ski racers who have been doing this since they were kids that actually seek this sensation. Now on the flip side, this is totally where so many people get it wrong and is the cause of their foot pain. So I'm going to give you the Patriot Guide for getting the right ski boot last. Now what I want you to ask yourself is what range am I in for my size? Narrow, medium or wide? Then you want to find some boots in this last range that have a similar shape and then we can do a shell check. Now inside the shell, you will notice that you have some space around your foot. The best way to analyze this space is to bring your foot over to the inside medial edge of the boot shell. You will then have a remaining space down this lateral side. And for high performance carb, big mountain and park skiers, what you want to look for is about one to three millimeters. For more all mountain or recreational type skiers, you want to see between two to five millimeters. Now what this will give you is ideal foot security, where we're not compressing the metatarsal bones, but instead they're allowed to stay flat and balanced, and the foam of your liner compresses around to hold you snug. And that's what gives you performance without lag. There's no extra space for your feet to move, but we're also not compressing any nerves or blood flow. Now with this shell check, I don't recommend that you go over this five millimeters of width, because that's when you can start entering the slop zone. Now, a couple of things to note. For example, if you are narrow in the back, but you are wider up in the forefoot, it's possible that you'll need to fit into a narrower boot and then widen or expand the front to match your foot. Now, if you have lumps and bumps on your foot, what you may need to do is fit the rest of your foot and then give these specific spots special attention. Now, both of these things are becoming easier as we're seeing a lot more boots come onto the market with a heat moldable plastic shell, which allows for easier expansion. Also, what you're seeing is improvements to the tools that boot fitters use to manually alter a boot shell. Okay, so I hope that makes a heap of sense in getting you into the right fitting boot. And I want to ask a favor this week. If you enjoy what Patriot is all about, I want you to tell one friend. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Stay rad. Be a Patriot. Signing out.